if you don't drop a like in the next five seconds, this will be happening to your Fortnite account. But if you do drop a like, this will be happening. The choice is yours. Hit the like button now. With the release of the new season, I'm gifting my subscribers the brand new Season 6 Battle Pass, as well as skins and emotes from the item shop. So, if you want to have a chance to be gifted, all you have to do is make sure you are subscribed to the channel, you have dropped a like on the video, as well as left a comment down below telling me your Epic Games username. This way, I can add you. Good luck to everyone who decides to enter. The first update of Season 6 is here, and in this video, I'll be showing you everything about it from leaks to secret items. But before we start, go ahead and leave a like on the video as well as subscribe. As 69% of you, my viewers, are not subscribed. And if you want to support me, make sure to use code SHOVELGAMER in the item shop. If you do use it, comment down below I used your code and it will give your comment a heart. Really, just give it a try. Hashtag add. Now with all that out of the way, let's start with the video. The V16.10 patch got released and it included a bunch of new content. First of all, if you own the complex skin, you received a second free edit stuff for her, named Rainbow. And here is what she looks like. The same goes for a matching set that includes the purple jam back bling, the street shine pickaxe, as well as the exile glider. Pretty epic. With Easter coming up, Epic Games is hosting a massive Easter event that just started, named the Spring Breakout. Fortnite has added in the Egg Launcher, pretty much an unvaulted version of the Grenade Launcher, shooting explosive eggs. Talking about eggs, you can now find the bouncy egg in the game, and after consuming one, you'll be given shield as well as the low gravity effect. Just like this. And even better, with the new Webster NPC making his way to the Fortnite map, he will even give us a brand new legendary quest to complete. And just for completing this challenge, you will unlock yourself a free pickaxe. All you have to do is forage a total of 10 bouncy eggs hidden around the island. Just walk up to them and press the button to either consume it or gather it. Anyway, here is what they look like. And this is where I found a total of 10 of them around the map. Now after the 10th bouncy egg, you'll be done with this challenge and you will successfully unlock the Tactical Quax pickaxe. Here is what it looks like when unlocking this dual wield pickaxe. And as you can see, they read a nothing rubber about these duckies. And here is what they sound like. I just love them. Also recently, the Wild Music Pack was actually part of the item shop. Now, you may ask, what's wrong with that? Well, this music pack is part of the Season 6 Battle Pass. And as you know, those should not be sold separately within the item shop as you can unlock it at tier 70 of the battle pass. However, it was available in the item shop for only 200 V-Bucks. Epic Games then soon removed this cosmetic from the item shop and tweeted the following, where they said they will be removing it from lockers and refunding everyone who bought or gifted it their V-Bucks. And today, I actually started up Fortnite and received this reward screen, giving me my 200 V-Bucks back. Next up, a new weapon was added to the game files, named the Junk Gun, better known as the Recycler. It comes in three rarities, that being Rare, Epic, and Legendary. It takes two seconds to reload. It has a magazine size of three, and it deals anywhere from 75 to 83 damage. The way this weapon works is quite unique, as it uses material that you harvest as its ammo. It pretty much fires a densely packed ball of junk that looks like this. It was even shown in the official Season 6 launch trailer. Here, take a look at it. From there, I have some great news for those who level up their battle pass. You'll now actually receive extra edit styles for your battle pass skins. For reaching level 110, you will unlock the Chromian Tirana style. At level 130, the Chromian style for Raz. At level 150, the Chromium style for Spire Assassin. Then for reaching level 160, you'll unlock the Runic style for Tirana. At level 180, the Runic style for Raz. At level 200, the Runic style for Spire Assassin. Assassin, and last but not least, for reaching level 205, you will unlock the Golden Star for Tirana. At level 250, the Golden Star for Res, and at level 225, the Golden Star for Spire Assassin. Now, we actually already know what the FNCS rewards are going to be for this season. Whenever the pro players are competing within tournaments for cash, we can watch them sweat and earn some free rewards while doing so. Them being the secrets of the Asians loading screen that looks like this, the FNCS Chapter 2 Season 6 Spray, as well as the Championship 2021 Emoticon. 
Next up, we have some info on the brand new bundle coming to the game. Being the Anime Legends Pack, better known as the Cyber Infiltration Pack. That will include, and correct me if I don't pronounce it right, the Shigusa skin, the Majumi skin, as well as the Yuki skin that even comes with a second hood down edit style. And these skins of course come with matching back blinks. Them being the guard pop, the hack slash pack, and the watchful webbit. Oh yeah, and there's even a pickaxe bundle that you can get with it. However, its price and release date are still unknown. Also, did you know the zero point crystals are actually back in the game? They can be found all around the spire. Now it might have something to do with a challenge, or it could be for the storyline. I guess only time will tell. From there, over at Pleasant Park, they're now building some sort of barrier to protect them from, I don't know, I would assume the new raptors, but who knows what Epic Games has in store for us. Next up, we have a challenge that is part of the spire quest, but it's actually very interesting. You can find it right over here at Colossal Crops. Just make your way over to this exact location right over here on the map and get over to this spot. On this corner, you can find yourself an audio player. Just walk up to it and hold the button that says play audio log. And this tape will play. Very interesting. From there, the secret skin for this season has just received an update. It will now be getting another extra reward, being a toy from Epic Rarity. And fun fact, we haven't seen a new toy in ages. I believe we haven't seen a toy in this entire chapter too. Anyway, all we know so far about the Neymar skin is that there will be some type of soccer player skin, coming with a cool wolf type edit style, as that was teased within this video over on Twitter. And honestly, it just reminds me of this edit style from Dyer. Oh yeah, and all the rewards will be released this month, April the 28th. Also, here's a short trailer of the season with Neymar in it, or reacting to it. Take a look at it. And then, we of course can't forget about the Spring Breakout Cup that will be taking place this Friday. By participating within this duo's cup, playing 10 games and getting the most points, you have a chance to unlock yourself the Webster skin at Mecha Feather's back bling for completely free. For all the info, make sure to check the Compete tab. Just make sure you have your account level at 30 or above and have two-step verification enabled on your account. And just for turning this on and protecting your account, you'll be getting the boogie down emotes. And here is what it then will look like when unlocking this free emote. But anyways, after being level 30 and having two-step fabrication turned on, you can now compete within this cup. Now we'll also have some sad news. The golden anniversary edit style for Lara Croft has most likely been cancelled. If you don't know what I'm talking about, this edit style was actually teased on the Chinese Fortnite website. As you can see from this image, it was even added to the game files and so I was able to showcase it early in the locker. However, it looks like this golden edit style won't be making its way to the game anymore. But don't worry, the classic edit style is still here. As you can see, for completing a total of 31 epic or purple quests, it will give you this classic Lara Croft edit style. And it's pretty much an edit style that's based on its original graphics from over 25 years ago. And it even comes with a secret. Did you know the Survivor's Pack back bling actually has a secret variant that is not being displayed or showcased anywhere that matches perfectly with this classic skin edit style, being Lara's backpack. And here is what it looks like. So, it is 100% confirmed that he's coming to the game as an item shop skin. Which honestly is quite sad, as he would have been the perfect secret skin for this season's battle pass. Anyway, here is what the skin will look like within the locker. He is called The Foundation, and has a description that reads, His sacrifice won't be forgotten. Leader of the Seven. And as the skin is not finished yet, it doesn't have an icon yet. However, the skin looks super cool, and I would love to play with it in-game. Oh yeah, and this skin even comes with edit styles. There's a cape edit style, as well as a no cape edit style. And if you didn't know yet, this season's Victory Royale Glider is actually called the Foundation Umbrella. And here is what it looks like. It would match perfectly with this skin. And here is what it looks like when he does come to the item shop as well as what it will look like when unlocking him. And who knows, Epic Games could always surprise us with a secret challenge for it. 
Now, on the internet, it is being speculated Dwayne Johnson is actually the voice actor of the foundation. Not only because their voices are so familiar, but also because of this most recent Instagram video post, which has the caption that says the foundation, where he pretty much talks about how important March the 16th is, which of course was the release date of season six. Let me just roll the clip. March 16th, 2021, around the world. Today was a big day, man. Today was a big day. Now, of course, today is a meaningful day, depending on where you're at in the world and what you have going on in your world. But in a certain world and in a certain culture, today was a big day. And there is connective tissue between that world and my world and that culture and my culture and that DNA and my DNA. This is all done to strengthen and evolve and grow the power and the force known as... Um, the foundation. Now, of course, this couldn't be more obvious. And you know, what makes it even better if we actually compare a photo of his left shoulder tattoo to a photo of the foundation skin in Fortnite, you will see it yourself. The way the foundation skin is designed and modeled is actually based on the rock's tattoo. They almost look like a robot and human twin. From there, with the foundation skin making his arrival by a meteor, this rock or meteor prop was found within the game files. However, here comes the twist. It won't be just a rock sitting here on the map. We will somehow be able to roll and push it around and deal damage with it to players, buildings, and vehicles. It even has stats and sounds. Here, just take a listen. 